Great to have you with us here on the Cafe Marks, just finishing up that crispy skin salmon and the Asian salad. We'll check on that before the end of the show. But before we taste that, please welcome to the show Stephen K. Amos. Stephen, welcome. Thank you, guys. Now, you've been touring the country as part of the New Zealand Comedy Festival. Yes. You've done your shows in Auckland? I have done them. They were fantastic. F packed houses, lovely crowds. Fabulous. But, I mean, this is amazing. I love the cafe. Nice. No, because you... <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cafe. No, good. No, because I've learned some stuff already, being here just the, the whole morning. Uh, we love Mark. Yes. I mean, yeah. I've got a grinder at home. I did not know how to grind. <laughs> oh. And his grinding action really worked. I loved it. It really did. I've got the best. Carpet questions too. Which is better, wood or synthetic? Do you know what? I've got wooden floors throughout, but oh. having seen that demo, I'm going to go and touch carpets in carpet shops. <laughs> I'm not going to buy any. I'm just going to rub carpets. Or it better still, I might buy myself a sheep. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, have you got any pets? No, know? I've got no pets, but me and my sister, we begged our parents. They got us two twin cats, Mimi and Moo Moo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Moo Moo had a bowel problem. Oh, OK. Uh, right. oh. So Dad had to go and, you know, take care of her. He came back home, house is in a mess. He'd taken the wrong cat. You, you know, Stephen, I, I, <laughs> I am thrilled you like the cafe, because you've... I mean, BBC, you've done a lot of this sort of stuff. How are we stacking up? Because it's early days for us, you know, first couple of weeks. Do you know what? It's really good. The good thing about it is your chemistry. You work Aww. well together. Aww. You do. And I love the, you know, I love the barista. Yeah, I love yeah. It. yeah great. I don't drink coffee, but it makes good hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I love the audience bit there. Yeah. But I've got a couple of suggestions. Okay, right? go. Um, okay, go. The biscuits are quite nice. Yes. Yeah. Chocolate macaroon, not so good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're a hard judge. I must ask you, Stephen, you've travelled like all over the world doing your comedy. I yeah. mean, how many countries? Have you, do you do a tally? Do you know how many you've travelled to? Uh, I haven't done a tally, but I don't think I've been to uh, the Arctic. I've been to... Yes. Uh, You're pretty close. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been everywhere, really. Um, even the Middle East, you know, and there, you know, wherever they can speak English, where there's a command of the language, you can go and do your stuff. Is there anywhere that you have not been well received? Like, your comedy's just not gone down well when you sat here? <laughs> I should, no, hang on, I should change it. I should say, where did you like the best? That's a better question. <laughs> That's a better one, isn't um, it? Oh, people love me everywhere. Um, <laughs> probably because I'm quite a nice person. And my comedy is, you know, there's lots of different styles of comedy out there at the moment. Yeah. And my kind of stuff is semi-autobiographical. But people come to my shows, they, they know they're going to have a laugh. That's, the, that's why you're there, you're going to have a laugh. Well, that's why you go to a comedy show, actually, Stephen. Well, some people go there to be, like, uh, to be en enthralled, enlightened, get political comedy. But my stuff is like, I normally say to the audience, if you're looking for deep meaning, and pathos in the wrong place. <laughs> so your, your comedy is essentially the cafe, but a, a funny cafe. You, you talk about carpet and things. It, well, uh, yeah, I, I, now I've seen that, my whole routine will be about carpets. <laughs> right. and, the, and the things you can do with a carpet. Excellent. Well, no, because I've seen a few of your shows, and, you know, you often, when you go to a new place, you start talking about the observations of that country. Yeah. What, this could get really dangerous. <laughs> but what are your observations of Kiwis? Um, what are my observations? Well, I, I know that there's a big a bit of rivalry between you and Australia. Yeah, just do it. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, uh, they they don't like you. Uh, <laughs> I thought they just don't care about don't us. Know what that is. <laughs> but I also find that um, your accent is you know a bit clipped. You know, and sometimes there's some of you that I just don't have a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you're doing uh, well in this interview. I'm, not, I'm getting a, a translation in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, got, he's got a lip reader out the back working uh, it out. But, you know, the best thing about it is seeing the fact that, you know, you can come to work and bring your mum. Yes, I know. <laughs> I hope she's been behaving. Has she been behaving? Well, well we've, we've shared a few secrets. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Yeah, uh -oh. And apparently I'm your brother. <laughs> 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 you watch out Finally, nice show. to meet you. Yeah. Where have you been? <laughs> uh, look, well, the country's really lucky because I know you've done Auckland, but you're going to other places. You've got Tauranga, you've got Christchurch, you've got Wellington, you've even New got Plymouth. New Plymouth. What can I expect though, Mel? Because I've never been to any of these places. Okay. They're smaller than Auckland. Um, beautiful, beautiful parts of the country. New Plymouth is uh, sort of out on a little limb, a little bit. Beautiful mountain there, Mount Taranaki. It's a volcano. And oh, nice. yes, so watch out for that one. Okay. Uh, what else can you? There's a beautiful. There's a wind. Um, a wind. <laughs> what's that? Wind, you're, uh, you're selling wind it. Wind vane. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. You'll love That's it. That's the one. The wind. The what is it? The Lin Lai Centre as well. The, yes, Jesse. Thank you very much. Lin Lai Centre. Yes. Just go and check it out. What you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been sat here for four minutes going, what are they doing? <laughs> wind. You got. You got wind. Oh, great. You got wind. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got wind. <laughs> Try that sandwich, you'll get more wind. <laughs> That's all I can smell in the studio. Fish everywhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stephen, after your travels around New Zealand, yeah. which you're going to be greatly accepted and, and into New Plymouth and to Tauranga and everything as well, which is a beautiful place, what's next for you? What's the rest of the year got in store? Well, I go back to the UK and I take three weeks off and I'm going to go hopefully on holiday, put my phone away, maybe go to Hawaii. Ooh, bum, bum, yes, bum, bum, bum. yes, just Talk come back there uh, from there. Brilliant place, you'll love it. And also, because I'm single, I'm a bit of a bachelor, so I'm uh, available. <laughs> Hey. So, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to go back to the UK and then I'm going to do uh, a new show and uh, radio and TV and then I'm going to do a UK tour as well. Excellent. Fantastic. It's been really wonderful having you in the studio. Yeah. Uh, if you want Stephen's details, we will have them for you after the show. Um, <laughs> just, just, you know, and we can sort that out.